What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another Money Up Toys video. Today, we're back with a brand new WWE Ultimate Edition review, and it is on an Ultimate Edition figure that I've been waiting on for a very long time, man. We have the Walmart exclusive Ruthless Aggression WWE Ultimate Edition Rob Van Dam. This figure looks immaculate. We saw it back at the WrestleMania Superstore for WrestleMania 39 when we went out to LA. Absolutely incredible. So happy to see this figure, man. It is the ECW One Night Stand gear. WWE Championship. Lots of good stuff going on, but will it pass the test? Will it live up to the hype? We shall find out today, man. But here is the front viewing window. And I also got to give a huge shout out to my man Jesse, or Figure World underscore JP, for making this review possible and sending this figure our way. Huge shout out to you, brother. Thank you so much. Figure looks immaculate. Can't wait to get into it with you. But of course, we do have our store exclusive style packaging with the red main color with the white accents. That's how they always do it with store exclusives, if you guys were unaware. The main line is white with red, and then the store exclusives or anything like that or red with white and there is the front viewing window you have Rob Van Dam at the top you have the ultimate edition at the bottom on the side you do get an image of the man there you do get the little ruthless aggression logo up top and then on the back you do get a shot of the figure you get Rob Van Dam ruthless aggression and then you get a shot of the man there looking pretty damn good if I do say so myself you get Rob Van Dam Ultimate Edition here, and that pretty much wraps up our packaging for our Rob Van Dam figure, man. I cannot wait any longer, man. Let's crack this guy out of the packaging, find out what the hell he's all about, put him on the rotating base, and dive into our Ultimate Edition Rob Van Dam. All right, man, so here's the whole effing show out of the packaging. Looking pretty damn good about it. There are some weird goofs with this figure, and I'm going to get into all those things. You're probably wondering what the hell I'm talking about. We're going to dive into it, man. We're going to discuss all of it here in the review, of course, and figure's not perfect. We're going to dive into that as well as we digress. So let's go ahead and dive into it, man. You guys know how the reviews work. We're going to dive into the accessories you get with Rob Van Dam first. Then we're going to run it back and take a closer look at the Rob Van Dam figure itself and just, just kind of sit back and relax, man. This figure, I'm, I've, I've been waiting on this one for a really long time. An ultimate Rob Van Dam. I saw some people saying that he didn't deserve a Rob Van Dam. Let me know down in the comment section below right now if Rob Van Dam deserved an Ultimate Edition figure. I'm going to be on the case of absolutely 1000% he did deserve one, but who am I, Brad? Lights are too bright for me. You let me know down in the comment section below. All right, so getting into the accessories that you get with the Rob Van Dam Ultimate Edition. We don't have your standard, you know, cloth goods, right? But we do get a championship. You get a little weapon accessory. You get some interchangeable heads. We have some cool things going on here, but no cloth goods this go around. Now, we do have this brand new Rob Van Dam head sculpt right here. It's kind of like his derpy, smirk, half-smiling style face sculpt right here, which I really like. I think it looks just like him. The hair looks good. The beard looks good. All those different things. And his ponytail's missing because you get two different uh, ways to do the ponytail. So you have this, like, straight-out ponytail like this, and this this is supposed to be the like mid-air hair sculpt so you can like put it up like that like his ponytails flying through the air and then you have this other interchangeable ponytail that you can put on any of the head sculpts and this is just your resting ponytail so you get two different options there I think it's unique you know uh, and, uh, I probably prefer that it came attached but I guess it, it stays in there pretty well it's not loose or anything like that I haven't seen anybody complain about that but this is probably the best head sculpt out of the three if you're considering you know the the repeat of the smiling one that we've seen so many times and I am referring to this one it's a great head sculpt that works solid for RVD, especially smiling and stuff, but it is one that we've seen for like a decade now, I think, or something like that, and again, it's got the same beard and everything like that. It looks good, but it is a repeat head that we've seen so many times before that it's just like, you know what, change the record. And then here is another new head sculpt, and this one, I just can't figure out. I think the space between his nose and his top lip is what makes this look so weird. Like, doesn't it just look odd? I don't know, man. I'm just not a fan of this one. I think the likeness is there. I just think he looks weird man it's just a weird looking head sculpt but again ponytail in the back there and this is what he would look like if he had like a weird like professor haircut or something i don't know what's going on there but yeah i'm just not a big fan of this one i like the expression like the mouth wide open you know for like rob van dam or like doing a frog splash but yeah i think the sculpt here messed up or something it just looks a little bit weird and that may be accurate but uh that's just my opinion on it i'm not a big fan of this head sculpt now outside of our head sculpts we do get a wwe championship and it is the spinner version it's like the one that came with the elite 100 john cena and if you guys look down there it does say John Cena on the nameplate, which really is a really cool detail that they threw in. But then when you look at the side plates, you guys can see here, instead of Monday Night Raw, it says Champion upside down, and then it's got the locket, and then, like, the, it's upside down. It looks very weird. They printed the words over it, so it's kind of just a mishap. It's another one of those, like, kind of glitches in the Matrix, or just a mess up, or a botch in the figure itself. So, you know, you have a little bit of a mix-up there on the 
championship, but it's still a cool title. I'm glad they included it. Really wish that we could have got the Money in the Bank briefcase and the ECW title with this figure, but I'm hopeful that we'll get that sooner rather than later. Maybe like a repaint Rob Van Dam with the championship, maybe the IC title and the ECW championship, maybe with the Money in the Bank briefcase or maybe the Money in the Bank briefcase with an Elite or something. So hopefully that'll be the case with a future RVD. Now he also comes with a steel chair accessory, which we've seen a hundred times. It is the modern one, so it does have the modern logo on there instead of the classic chair, but you can use this for Van Daminators or your crowd or whatever the hell you want to use. We've seen a steel chair a hundred times, so not an accessory that sets the world on fire, but I know a lot of people are going to be happy to get another steel chair, you know, add to the weapons collection. And then for interchangeable hands, we do get black tape mic holding hands, which are very nice. It's got the black peg, so the black wrist tape looks really good. And then you get this, which is very, very weird. So they do give him the thumbs hand sculpts or the signature hand sculpts, so you can do the Rob Van Dam or whatever you want to say. But the left one is the black tape hand, like we saw with his Elite 91 figure. And then the right one is the damn throat cut Undertaker glove sculpt, as you guys can see here. That is the fingerless glove Undertaker sculpt here. And I got them just like this out of the packaging, man. So you guys can see here, this is a regular tape tan, and then you have the fingerless glove tan. So very, very odd, you know? I mean, I guess like this one would work, possibly, because it kind of looks like, because he wore thick ass tape on his hands, man. He taped his hands up pretty good. You might be able to get away with that, but giving me one and then the other just doesn't work for me here. And uh, you can clearly see this is supposed to be like a padded glove from The Undertaker. This is the Ultimate Edition Undertaker hand sculpt right here. Or I mean, we've seen it multiple times, but this is the first figure it came with was the Ultimate Edition Undertaker. So giving us the throat slitting hand or whatever you want to say here in the padded glove is wild. I can't, I don't know how the hell that happens, but that's one of those little oops-a-daisies or whatever the hell you want to say that happened with this figure. All right, so getting into the RVD figure itself, starting out with the head sculpt, of course, we talked about it. It looks pretty damn good. I like it. It's probably, I mean, you could argue probably the best RVD head sculpt ever, ever made. I mean, it's up there for sure, at least for Mattel's sake, for sure. But going down to the rest of the figure, we do have the singlet here now. With this singlet, it's not my favorite singlet of all time, but it's become iconic because of the match and moment, obviously. Got the black, got the red, got the white in there. It looks pretty good. You have the dragon, you got the barbed wire going through, you get your yin yangs. It looks pretty damn good in here. I think it looks pretty solid. Really wish they could get more of that realistic tone, right? Similar to the Ultimate Warrior, how it looks like, you know, airbrushed material or it get like if they could photo scan the actual singlet or get photo references and then create an image and you know what I mean if that makes any sense but you do have RVD there and then on the back you do have the same yin yang that does continue right here they continued the paint apps in the back which I think is really nice and then you get that like lightning bolt pattern which I think is really sweet as well got the RVD in there got the barbed wire and then it going down you got the black hand tape black pegs which do make it look good double jointed arms butterfly joints I really like the way the singlet and the sculpture looks here it kind of blends in the butterfly joints and stuff so going on down you do have the not the, like the big knee pads here hate these big knee pads man they just need to retire just get the hell out you know what i'm saying just awful just can't stand them even if they are accurate like they don't work good man like look at that look at that knee right there can't even get to 90 get it the hell out of the yard then you got the rob van dam kick pads which look good van dam down the side could have swore he had like the classic ones with like the yellow font but i guess he didn't but nonetheless you do get that and you get the ultimate toe articulation there with the rvd but here for the figure itself man i mean the articulation you know you're not going to get a good ab crunch out of these ultimate edition diaphragms right here but you do get the rotation there and the but the butterfly joint is definitely serviceable we talk about these ultimate editions all the time like it's pretty good there but uh when you flip it around you guys can see the striations in the back like it's pretty cool you know to have the butterfly i like the addition of the butterfly joints for sure but some guys it doesn't matter as much i guess but you know you get your drop down hips here which you know i guess works for rvd because you can do those high kicks and those rolls and all those different things but you ain't bending no damn knee with these large knee pads on there brad but let's get into some rvd action figure comparisons here with our ultimate edition rob van damothy so for your rob van dam ultimate edition action figure comparisons we do have the ultimate edition in the middle obviously and then from left to right you do have the wwe elite walmart exclusive ruthless aggression elite the elite 91 the elite 91 chase unreleased figure and the elite 27 so this is every rvd elite slash ultimate that they've done so many different figures they could do man i mean they could do so many damn figures of rvd i mean this isn't even a fraction of the cool looks that he has rocked on wwe television and hopefully in the future we can get more of these because they're some of my, fa my favorite figures. I mean, they're just so damn iconic and nice. So this looks beautiful to me. Can't wait to see more RVDs to come, but it is nice to see all these. And you guys can see what I'm talking about with the smiling head sculpt. It's been overdone. It's definitely been overdone. It's nice to see a brand new RVD head sculpt uh, or a pair of them, you know? So that is nice to see. But nonetheless, that pretty much wraps up your Rob Van Dam Ultimate Edition figure comparisons. But I think that's pretty much going to wrap up this WWE Ultimate Edition review. Walmart exclusive Ruthless Aggression Rob Van Dam action figure video, man. At the end of the day, I really enjoy the figure. I think that there's a lot of great things going on, but their 
there are some things about the figure that I just don't like. I mean, what I don't know what the hell's going on with the Undertaker throat slitting hand and then the other one being the taped hand. Makes no sense whatsoever there. I don't know how a goof like that happens. And then the WWE Championship, while it does say John Cena's nameplate and stuff like that, having the upside down and the paint errors and the things like that is crazy to happen on, you know, an Ultimate Edition such as this. And then again, just the drop down ball joints, you know, we've talked about that a lot of times in these Ultimate Edition figure reviews. Not a big fan of that. And then giving him the large knee pads, which I totally see like why they do it, but I think giving him the smaller knee pads would be better just for articulation's sake. I just hate those big knee pads. They do nothing for anybody, man. I just wish they need to make them more articulated. Make it where it's able to be more articulated with those big knee pads or just get rid of that mold forever. I don't know a single person that likes those big, long knee pads. I, you know what I'm saying? So that's just something there. But at the end of the day, it is a badass figure. I really like it. I like the way the gear looks. I like having RVD in Ultimate Edition form. I think it's really sweet. RVD is one of my favorites of all time. So having this figure here, the memory, I mean, I remember it clear as day like it was yesterday and it's been so long now. So getting an amazing figure like this from a childhood memory, anytime we get that is absolutely fantastic. But I think everything here is pretty damn sweet, man. If you guys see this figure, you absolutely need to grab it, especially if you're an RVD fan. But if you're a fan of great Ultimate Editions, this is great. But also would like to add that I think the the interchangeable ponytail is okay. I think the like smirking face looks just like RVD. And then the smiling head sculpt, we've seen it so many times. It's just like, you know what I'm saying? It changed the record. It's not a bad head sculpt, but we've seen it so many times. But this face that I'm looking at right here, I'm not a big fan of it. I just feel like something's weird about like how elongated it is. And then his teeth aren't showing kind of. It just looks a bit weird and off. You guys can let me know what you think of that down below as well. But at the end of the day, I love RVD. Love this figure. And I would say grab it, man. You see this figure? Absolutely grab it. But that is going to wrap up today's video. Thank you guys so very much for your continued support here on the videos. Always appreciate your guys' feedback and comments. Love you guys so very much. And that goes out to the patron supporters as well. Always love you guys so very much, man. Huge shout out to the patron supporters of the MDT YouTube channel. And moving forward for the month of October, man, we're probably going to have like a double upload day almost every day, or I'm going to try my best to have a horror action figure video and a WWE action figure video for every single day of the month, or I'm going to try and keep that up. So we will see how that goes and progresses. But if you guys enjoy horror figures or just some different content on the channel, October is the time. So I hope you guys did enjoy and all those different things, man. But I'm getting the hell out of here. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. I'll catch you guys later. See you later. Help you. The, what the hell am I even saying? All right.